Let's cook around the world. And today's recipe comes from Provence in France, and it is chicken Provençal. Provence is a region in the southeast of France and enjoys a beautiful Mediterranean coastline. And this has heavily influenced the local gastronomy. Olive oil, tomatoes and garlic are the three pillars of Provençal cuisine. Obviously the star of this show is Herbes de Provence. You can find this in most supermarkets, but don't worry if you can't. Simply use thyme, basil, rosemary and tarragon in equal parts instead. A full list of all ingredients are available at the end of this video. In a heated pan, add your olive oil. You should have your heat on medium high. Once your oil is at the right temperature, add your chicken. You'll know when your oil is hot enough because it'll make this delicious sizzling sound. If you don't get any sizzles, it means your oil isn't hot enough yet. So just wait a while longer until it is and try again. Cook the chicken until it is light golden brown on both sides. This should take about 5 minutes per side, but again it may vary depending on your heat. Remove the chicken from the pan and allow to rest while we get on with the rest of the cooking. Now add the shallots and fry until golden brown. This should take about 5 minutes. Next, add the garlic. I'm using finely minced frozen garlic because I didn't have any fresh to hand. Continue frying until you can smell the sweet aroma of the garlic. Add the wine. Dry white is best for this recipe, but again, use whatever white wine you have to hand. When three quarters of the wine has evaporated, add the herbs de Provence. Continue cooking until almost all the wine has evaporated. As you can see from the bottom of the pan, there is hardly any liquid left. Now is the time to add the flour. Stir well for a minute until all the flour is thoroughly combined. Now add your chicken stock and combine with all the ingredients. Add the bay leaf and the fresh thyme. Again, don't worry if you don't have any fresh thyme. Use dry instead. As I mentioned earlier, the full list of ingredients are shown at the end of this video. Next, add the tomatoes and olives. I'm using green, but feel free to use black olives if you prefer. Bring the mixture to a gentle simmer and then reintroduce the chicken and season to taste. Place in a preheated oven. The oven temperatures are gas mark 6, 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit and cook for 40 minutes. And it should come out looking like this. To serve, depending on the time of the year and obviously your preferences, but I would recommend as a side dish a fresh salad. Maybe try some rice or even some freshly boiled baby potatoes lightly tossed in some olive oil. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment to let me know how you got on. And as my friends say in France, bon appétit!